Paul Bosch was a real gentleman. Yeah. He was, uh, you know, one of the, he, he promoted all in Houston and around Houston. But mm -hmm. every Friday, he'd, he'd go down there and, you know, it was, his payoffs were, after Fritz's payoffs, you'd be looking forward to his. <laughs> you know, his. <laughs> if you had that, if you had a good, if you had a good spot, if you had a good spot that Friday, Friday Houston show, then, you know, that probably, that would basically make your week. Because, uh, you know, Fritz's kids and his nephews and everybody else around there, you know, the, you have Dallas and other places didn't offer you a big, you know, Dallas wasn't drawn worth the crap anyway. I, I guess he had some, uh, Billy Red, Lions, and a couple of guys did, did his booking for him. Yeah. He was, uh, he would catch with Vince or with Kaniski. The, the TV from Vancouver, I think, was, was, was in there, was pretty strong in there. And Vince would give him guys, and there were some, uh, some Canadian guys that, that, you know, he would probably, like Angela Mosca or Dino Bravo. Right, right, right. Guys, guys like that, you know, that were, uh, that were strong. And they would get him through an arrangement with Yeah, Frank. Vince, Vince was feeding him. You know, we'd go up there, you know, we'd go up there for a Sunday night and you have the ham and, the, the ham and cheese blowout after with the, the batch beer in the bathtub after and he'd have a room. And, and most of the guys, the, most of his local guys would go up there. And then we'd, me and Adonis would pop through, raise some hell for a little while and then take off back downstairs. And we did some, you know, just pulling off. But he's how, all right. How, um, how important was uh, was Canada uh, to what you guys were doing at the time? Was it big money up there? <coughs> well, the dollar was a devaluation, but um, we we're doing good crowds. Yeah. You know, the crowds were, and the money was, uh, plus I think we were outside of Toronto somewhere there. We were filming out in Brantford. I don't know if it was then oh, or... Oh, that or, starts or, in 84. Can I get a witness? 84. Uh, what the hell was that place called? It was the hockey arena. The hockey arena. The home of Wayne Gretzky. Was it in Bradford? Bradford, Bradley, Brad, uh, Bradford, Bradford. I'll probably there. get 50 letters, uh, emails on this. Yeah, yeah it was the hockey, uh, the sports arena, right? Yeah, it was like uh hour and a half out of Toronto. And then we did, then we started there, and then I think he was like, uh, of course, you know, of course that was before Brett and... Yeah. Nightheart and stuff, but the old man came to one one of the uh, Stu, and he was he was always a trip. I mean, it was too hard. He was yeah, he was just uh, I remember, and this guy he had millions. I think before Billy Vince even knew when millions went, he bought all that oil, <laughs> all that oil property and stuff up in uh, up in Alberta and stuff. He uh, had that then they had that big Munster house in Calgary. Yeah, yeah. With the family. I, yeah, what was that plot of land? I'm yeah. just from reading Well, I remember the guys I, this is probably a year later, but the I, I, you know they bought a bunch of sweet sour spare ribs and stuff, you know. Chinese there was a Chinese restaurant down the street. So guys would would do you know, like the whole day of interviews in there that that would and then go somewhere. And uh the guys that didn't clean the meat off the bones at Stewart's corner, he's he's he was cleaning the meat off the bones of the, of the sweet sour sparrows. <laughs> These guys had already eaten. He was a multi millionaire. You know, what the hell's going on? You know, but that was still hard. That was, that, you know, that was him. Yeah. With the flipping the cat turd on the, on the thing and going back and flipping the eggs. And, and, uh, <laughs> oh, I heard about that. That's right. Yeah, the yeah. spatula, he's cooking eggs yeah, in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat, 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 Goes back and flips the eggs with the pancakes around. And I I went to I went to, I had two I went to two speaking two din Sunday dinners up there. I'm proud to say. Yeah, the, that the, was about it though, just two, huh? Well, I didn't I didn't spend a lot of time working oh, okay. in Calgary. I went there to to put the belt on D. I took a belt from somebody, and or the, the Norman somebody, and then uh, dropped it to Davy Boy a couple weeks later. So who who devises the way it's going to happen? Is it something you and Jimmy talk about, or is 
Pat or Vince partnered in on this whole thing? Or Buddy I, mean, I, used, I used to call a lot of my, I call a lot of my own shots and stuff was going on. The clothes, the interview yeah. segment, that whole thing. Only thing I regret, I, I was working matches in between and I didn't take off my wrestling shorts and put underwear on. And if I had underwear on, I would, you know, would have been there. And I heard comments before, oh, he had his wrestling tights on and after me. But I, oh, that's funny. It was, yeah. it was in between, you know, was, we, Allentown, you know, we do three hours of TV. And, uh, you know, I just threw a pair of pants and a jacket on over them, you know, and ready to go back in the third hour. You know, and then there was a comment that I'd have my wrestling tights under my clothes. Right. Oh, okay. But, you know, that was, that was the short, but it never did never really hurt the angles, just... I don't. That, I don't know anyone that would remember that. Yeah, you know, I, I, I heard comments to that, or a comment to that effect. One or two comments. Okay. To that effect, but not you know, like I said, like it didn't really hurt. Well, you guys showed them because the business you did after that. 